And I definitely need to get more miners to actually build this. wasn't intended. I guess I will just leave it running for now. It should work somehow. Except I might transport some copper away. I don't know if I actually want to do this. I had the idea of uh, making a diagonal transport belt. But this isn't easy. Without robots, but it looks funny. Looks quite circular and like a snake or something. But I guess... It would be too annoying to build, and later I have to deal with all the diagonal lines everywhere. And now that I have actually done an extra copper line, I might just combine it properly so that it has around the same amount of copper on each side. So this should be a pure copper line. I guess I could just throw it there. Already quite a lot of ash. Good that it stacks to a thousand. Otherwise it would be a problem. Or a bigger problem than it is now. I have to automate this science production thing. Right now I'm throwing things in there manually, which is not the most efficient way to do it. is there to do before I can make these empty planter boxes. I guess I definitely need wood and I can't yet automate cutting trees or growing trees. I guess cutting trees from logs into wood is already done. So this machine does that. But I still need to deliver the locks, which I first have to harvest. But that's okay, I can partly automate it at least. So this can now there. 
And I can have some sort of backup by doing this. This will feed back on itself. But if this belt is full, then at least some stone bricks will land in the chest. I could just introduce these stone bricks further to the right. Like there. And I might already just build some machines there. Maybe I will have to change up this design a little bit. So this will be empty planter box. I guess this will need quite a lot of stone bricks. So I will just have one full site dedicated to stone bricks. And then I will just copy this, which is a nice design I made. Um, I guess the outer sides will put out put ash out of the machine and the four inner inserters will get the other thing out which is the result of this of these factories thanks I wonder if it sometimes feels like volume. Or if my voice is maybe too monotone sometimes. I think I could also take some coal off here. Yes, I like calm things as well. I don't really like jump scares, for instance. And normally I would always say it's better to have good content than good voice. Or the voice shouldn't really matter like with politicians who can speak in a nice way but not nice things i guess i should now get iron plates there somehow i guess i don't even need filter when I just take them off the belt. Thank you. Yes, I tried to explain a few things about what I'm doing. I guess it's not just for you, but also for me to make sense of it all. I guess talking about things always is a bit more helpful than just thinking about things. So, I need wood. It's the last component in this thing. I guess I could move this anywhere I want, which I will do just now. Okay, the only thing is that I have to provide electric power. And I just remembered that I actually have electric power. Uh, I also play another or just started another playthrough called Exotic Industries. For now it's just on YouTube. 
and there I have to deal with the coal powered phase a lot longer so there I have to deal with no electric energy at the moment so I will put the wood processing unit here I guess there will not be that many wood pieces at the start. And the inserters don't even need electricity, so I could place them anywhere I want. I will just find a little bit of wood to at least see where I would be going with this. Guess it's just one log per tree. Which is fine. I guess I will start cutting this forest a bit. And later I have to cut more trees to the right because that is where my bus is going. I will now just go back and feed the woodcutter. On the way I will also collect some transport belts. I have to check out whether these wood... No, these planter boxes, what are they called? Empty planter boxes are used in anything else. I'll just uh, already place some wood in there. And now I will place these logs in there. And this is starting. And then I can feed this to this machine. Now all of the slots are used, as in this example as well, or over there. Feels almost like a processing unit or something, where all the edges are sort of filled with inputs or outputs. Okay, I want to look up whether an empty planter box, I guess, is used for anything else. No, it isn't. So I can just use this directly. I don't have to bring this to the bus. On the bus there should only be things that are actually used anywhere else. And I wonder now whether I should just mirror this. And I need more of these assembling machines. I don't know if I'm automatically producing them yet. Maybe just the components. I need more iron plates. I guess I have set up some chests before, so I could just take them out of there. I don't need to run over those belts. I 
I have some fish in my inventory. They might eventually come in handy. Putting fish in factories actually or in miners actually makes them more efficient. You get my joke. Oops. It's not what I wanted. I don't know if that is what I wanted. I can just do this. And then the ash could go there. Oh, and there's also ash coming out of here. This is basically my ash line. Every useful stuff will go down and the ash will just go up and fill these chests for eternity. And beyond. And I guess I have to figure out whether these... Wait, need to change the recipe to the next kind of planter box. Whether these planter boxes are actually used in anything else. I type a bit slowly because my microphone is standing in front of me and I don't want to uh, beat it too badly. So this is actually used in multiple things, so I will put it on the bus. I have to check out whether or how long this line can be. So this bus is constantly growing in rawness after I make some more intermediate products. But I want to try to have spaces in between these bus lanes depending on how long my underground belts can be. Otherwise I can't properly get those ingredients through again. Or I would have to tunnel all these things at once, which isn't very efficient. Okay, now I need to find what this needs. This actually needs ash, so I can get rid of some of it. But it needs more soil than ash. How long does it take to craft? Two seconds, so I guess I can get away with putting two different things on this line. So this is the empty planter boxes. I guess I might get some coal there somehow. Maybe through there. Wait, not there. I needed to tunnel through there. And for that I need one extra because I still have to insert the inserters. And now soil and ash needs to be added. And now this actually doesn't properly work, so I will move it a bit. I guess soil is also used in multiple things. Lots of things actually. Lots of plants probably. 
and some farms that are related to plants and some well ground related things muddy sludge what is that used for lots of things i can make logs with that interesting I wonder when this kind of wood processing will happen. Wood processing to this. You can see that there are quite a lot of researches that I first have to do. Maybe this will happen in a few years or something. Depending on how often I play this. But I intend to play all of it on stream. So maybe I have to stream a lot. So I guess this will be soil. I have soil already somewhere. I guess this also puts out ash when it burns the coal, but probably less than it actually needs. So I will still have to feed that back from a bigger ash source. What else? Okay, just soil. I like to build tunnels backwards and then just rotate them so I can estimate the length a bit better. Same here. Especially since there is something in the way. But now I have to do the opposite direction again. I don't think the tunnel can go over all of these, especially not the extra line there. I guess I will just go a bit further down. I have to turn this around, of course. Would be a shame if I did it in a wrong way. And later I would wonder why I don't receive any soil. 